you've obviously worked with a lot of people that are coming from the different dietary spheres, like um, low carb and, and bioenergetics. Something that I hear a lot from the bioenergetics crowd is I added in carbs, um, my diet's, you know, organized this and that, like, but I'm still not getting such and such results, like whether it's the blood sugar or losing the weight and stuff. So is there like maybe one, two or three, like most common mistakes that you see people make when they come into bioenergetics and start adding in back carbs? Is it like keeping too much fat on board or like, what are yeah. the things that maybe somebody can start to think about? today like oh maybe i am doing that and i can start to adjust these things i think the the biggest one is like just adding carbs in and not looking at your total caloric intake and fat that's the biggest one and, and then so that's number one number two is food sources people are so restrictive in low carb especially carnivore and keto stuff and the omad that when you like now it's like pandora's box has opened and i can have ice cream and 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 i can have uh juice and sugar in my coffee and all this type of stuff and then people go buck wild with it and then they're not looking at their total intake and then they cut their gaining weight and they're like, oh, it's the carbs. And it's like, I've had people, it's like, you're in a, like a 500 to 1000 calorie surplus a day because your fat is still the same and you just threw carbs on top. The other thing is when you come out of these super restrictive paradigms, your appetite, especially if you've done it for a long time, is going to like be out of control. Like for me, it was uncontrollable when I came out of IF and keto. And then like the, I guess the last one would be like having crap tons of dairy and maybe not doing super well with all the dairy. Those would be the big three. There's other things, but those are the big three that's like easy, easy troubleshooting right off the bat. When somebody's like, we need to get your calories and macros dialed in. We need to stop the honey and granulated sugar and endless amounts of maple syrup and like use more reasonable carb sources. And we need to test your response to dairy. Big three immediately that I'm looking at for most people coming from those backgrounds. And then if you're not doing the dairy, you can supplement the calcium because that's still one of the principles yeah. that you include in a diet. Yeah, okay. calcium and phosphorus is important.